you enter political office at a time when there is complete devastation. The country is in terrible shape. Uh, a large portion of the population has been killed. The infrastructure has been destroyed. All the government buildings, the presidential palace, uh, roads, um, there is not enough food. Um, there is just one problem after another. Um, and so you enter this situation. How do you even begin to lead when everything needs to be done and there aren't any resources to get it done? Well, one of the first things uh, that we did was to, was to prepare a strategic plan. The strategic plan that would carry us had, had different uh, uh, parts in it. The first part was to have a short-term plan that would address the emergency situation that focused more on relocating the homeless to their homes and fixing the homes because we had 50% of residents of Port-au-Prince that were homeless. So the plan called also for um, you know, basically immediate needs, mid-range um, policies and reforms, uh, education, environmental, agricultural uh, um, reforms, and, and, and one that called for Haiti to be an emerging country by 2030 by carrying specific sets of policies and focusing on, on, on specific sectors. So I, we, I couldn't do everything uh, you know, in one day or in one month or in one year or in two years because it takes time to rebuild a country that's been totally devastated and we, and we understood that. So there was a vision a vision that you were passionate about. There was a strategy. Uh, there were a number of tactics used, including a rebranding strategy. Uh, one of the things that we talk about here at MIT Sloan are different lenses to look at what leaders do. And one of them, we call it the red lens, is a political lens. You're going into a country, making change, uh, in, in a place there are a lot of entrenched interests that certainly were probably not in favor of all of the changes you were making. So very often leaders have difficulty because of the politics of the situation. So could you talk a little bit about how did you deal with the different political interests that you had to deal with both in the external community as well as within Haiti? Well, change is never easy. <laughs> And uh, every time you want to change, there is, you, you have to expect a lot of pushback. And uh, we had a lot of pushback because, you know, I'm not a politician. I was never in any political parties. I just had Haiti at heart. I just had Haiti. I just wanted to, to make a difference and, and do things the way, the way I saw that it should, it, it should have happened as a prime minister. And the president uh, also was clear on the instructions as to how to move forward. So I was carrying out the duty as to as changing Haiti. Now, having having said that, th there is there is an incredible bureaucracy uh, to change. So the, the the bureaucracy is is a barrier to change in many countries. As you want to go fast and cater to the problems of the millions of people that are suffering, you have a bureaucracy that's there that ha that that is you know stands in the way of change and progress. So we had to cut the red tape cut the bureaucracy and get to the people and get to the people that needed the most, the fishermen, I mean, the artisans, the, uh, you know, the, I mean, the, the small business uh, uh, people. Everybody wanted us to, to make a change in the country. So the politics of it is the next after the, the bureaucracy because uh, the, the Haitian politics is, is un it does not support uh, new ideas and change and, uh, and it's definitely not results d driven. Uh, it's one where it's, you know, it's very intricate in terms of, of what is result at the end. And, um, and, and it's one that uh, it takes a lot of communication, communication with the stakeholders, communication with the different parties, uh, a lot of explanation onto, uh, onto the policy. So basically uh, communication on, the, on your plan of action and, uh, and, you know, so you have to cultivate the, the, the culture of, uh, of patience, uh, which, you know, as a, as a leader where everything is an emergency and everything needs to be done tomorrow, if you have the, the right plan, if you, have, if you have the right strategy, if you're results-driven, because the people, the everyday citizen, he doesn't ask a lot. 
he asked for the government to take care of the very basics and stop doing politics and eat each other out, but cater to the need of the everyday Haitian. And, and, and sometimes those needs, they're very little. But sometimes the politics prevent you from getting the help where, ne where help is needed. And, and that's, a, that's true for many developing nations, not only Haiti, but many developing nations as to having the politics hold you back from carrying out your duty and your applying the job description.